project. And I am so excited to start this project because it involves drawing. And drawing is very, very, very fun to do. Well, I think it's fun, but I think you'll find it fun as well. And one of the nice things about drawing is that it is actually, I like to call it the grandfather of all types of art. Because you always start or plan a painting or sculpture or maybe you're designing a piece of furniture but you always start with a drawing so drawing is kind of important it's a foundation for anything else that you do and why what I mean by foundation I mean something that you start with which is the foundation okay but first I'm gonna give you a brief history behind drawing some of the earliest drawings that we know of today are in France and these drawings date back to 10,000 BC that's a long time ago and you know what the drawings that they did back then were depictions of things that they did while they were living so they drew things like animals because they used to hunt animals and they would draw pictures of people hunting animals which I know can be a little bit scary if you think about but the drawings that we see on these caves are very minimal so they're very simple drawings okay so here's an example of one yep that's an example of a cave drawing Miss Craig! Hi Eddie! Thanks for joining us! Yeah! I was on vacation. Yeah, you've, you've, have you been to France and seen these cave drawings? Mm-hmm. They're yeah, cool. Yeah, you're lucky. You get to pretty much go wherever you like. You have that magical yeah. fairy stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. They're pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. So you can actually see them in France or in Spain, which is really awesome. You should awesome. go. And you know what? If you ever get a chance to go there, maybe you should go check them out. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, my friends, today we are going to create a drawing on a nice large piece of paper that looks like this, okay? And in order to get started, you are going to first draw a pencil line that creates loops like this, okay? So these loops, you can connect them to other loops, or maybe you want to not connect them, but these loops, are eventually going to be turned into something, okay? I say the more the merrier. Boom, 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 boom. Now, line, guys, is one of the elements of art. Line is very important in art because it's the starting point for anything that you do. Without line, we wouldn't have any drawings, we wouldn't have painting, nothing. Because lines are what makes a drawing or a painting or a sculpture you need line and the reason you do need line for sculpture is because you had to draw your plan before you created your sculpture right so here are my loop de loop lines now there's all kinds of different sorts of lines like there's squiggly lines there's straight lines there's zigzag lines there's curvy lines all right there's all kinds of lines. There's dotted lines. There's long dotted lines. Okay? But there's all kinds of different line marks that you can use. And all these different line marks can be put together to create a bigger drawing, which is sort of like what we're doing on our piece of paper. So here is my piece of paper. I've got my big giant loops, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my Sharpie, okay? and I'm gonna outline my lines. And when I outline my lines, if I, you know, go over my pencil a little bit, that's gonna be okay. Oh, right. So there's my drawing of the lines, okay? Wow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw Within these loops, I'm going to create some images. So, I don't know what it is about drawing fish, but I think they're kind of fun to draw. So, I'm going to draw fish. But you might come up with a different plan for your drawing. But I just think fish are kind of fun. So, I've decided that I'm going to just do an underwater theme. So, a theme means something that you... Um, 
find interesting or think is cool. And then you're going to draw everything that is related to that. So if my theme is fish, I'm going to draw everything that relates to fish, in my opinion. Okay, so that's my theme. My theme is fish. So here we go. I'm going to finish drawing that. And you guys can draw it however you want. Okay, now you can draw in pencil first in case you feel like you might mess up. But you know what? If you do mess up and you've drawn with Sharpie, there's always a way to fix it. Okay, there's no need to start over. There we go. Ah, let's see. Over here, maybe I'll draw an octopus. Octopuses are kind of fun, aren't they? Mm, I always forget how many legs they have. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Miss Crud. Good. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm drawing an octopus. Ooh, he's pretty. What do you think I should draw over here? Mm, a fish. Another fish? Yeah, fish are cool. Yeah, I can draw another fish. Woohoo! I'll finish this guy, and then I'll draw Ooh. another fish over here. Okay. And I'm gonna draw mm. some funny eyes. Cause I like funny eyes. I like funny eyes. So there's my octopus. Me too. Now over here, I'm gonna draw my fish. That's Yay! A good idea, but you know what? I think with this fish, he's gonna be a little bit. Ooh! My fish. Looks like a puffer point. fish. Is it a puffer fish? Wait, you think I should draw a mermaid? Mm -hmm. All right, Eddie, I can draw a mermaid. Mermaids Let's are see. fun. Where can I draw my mermaid? Ooh, that looks like uh -huh. a good spot. I see something over here that could look like hair. Ooh. So there's my hair. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Oh, she has long hair. That's a good mermaid, Miss Crane. Thank you, Eddie. There's my mermaid. So, Ooh. as you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can do with there all are. these circles. So I'm going to finish my drawing, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay. okay. Because you know what? This isn't going to be a black and white drawing. I mm -hmm. want you to add color to it. <gasps> okay. So yeah. here's my drawing. I'm all ready to color it in. Now, Ooh, I'd like you to can't wait. color in the entire drawing because you know what? That's important. We want mm -hmm. to make sure that everything is covered. We right? don't want to see any a white. Bit more interesting. And you can color this however you want. Now, if you have a lot of pencil marks, just grab an eraser. So erase Ooh. all your pencil marks. Okay? Erase your pencil marks. Erase I'm them. Do that real quickly. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color it Yay! in. And you can use crayons. Oh, That's what love. we're going to use for this Coloring. project. And you know what? You know what's fun about crayons is that you can blend them together. Mm. So I'm going to use this crayon and I'm going to start off with a dark color Ooh. because I want you to, now notice that I'm pressing kind of hard. I'm going at a good pace yeah. so I don't have any scribble wow. marks. You know, I want this to be a nice solid color. Nice and slow. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do, and I want you to try this for at least one of your fishes. Mm, one I'm fish. going to take a lighter crayon and I'm going to just bring that up like this Ooh. and I'm going to sort of create an effect where things are getting dark yeah. and bright. Okay. So we're working a little bit on our value. Value, value my friends, is yeah. when things go from dark to light. Whoa, so I didn't know that. My value right now is going to be lighter with my next color. Oh, I, so I see. I can find a lighter color. I'm gonna keep these out so just so I remember. Value is mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> ah, there's a lighter pink. Yeah. Ooh. See, look at that. Yeah. Now you can play around with this. You don't have to do it exactly how I'm doing it, Ooh. but at least do one fish where you see value. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So value. So I finished drawing my fish, and I did a little bit of value work. And remember, value, you're working on going mm. from dark to light. So draw, do that for one of your fish, okay? Mm. But I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring in Ooh, my That's going to take a long time. It's correct. Okay. No, it's not. Watch this. Stop motion video. I can speed it up and go back as much as I want. Wow, that's cool, Miss Crane. Looks like you're adding a lot of color. I am. I want to make sure that there are no white spaces left behind. Hmm. What if you want to keep one of your spaces white? Well, that's okay as long as it's not a lot. Wow, look at me go. You are going fast, Miss Crane. That's really fast. 
<gasps> I didn't even know I could draw this fast. All right, let's keep watching. Okay. So I have my water ready, I have my yeah. paintbrush, and now I'm going to paint. And I'm going to use watercolor. Because you know what's going to happen, guys? <gasps> when I paint with my watercolor, it's not going to go over my crayon. Oh. Because the crayon hmm. is going to resist it. Because crayons have oil in them. And you know what? Are you sure? Oil and water do not oh. bring... Well, they don't really like each other. And you know what, guys? You can paint your background however you want. Okay? You don't have to use the um, colors that I'm using, obviously. Because That's I don't think amazing. that the ocean always has to be blue. Now, when you use your paintbrush, you got to make sure you're nice and careful. When we go into our paint palette, we're going back and forth really gently. Okay? We don't want to shove the brush into our paint because you know what that's not very good for the brush and it ruins the brush yeah. and then you can't use the brush anymore oh, it hurts the brush all messed up okay um nope but nope. when you paint you want to have nice easy strokes you can go right over your where i come from the ocean's yellow drawing, or your crayon drawing because you know what it's still gonna show up. You see Ooh. how that's sort of resist? I know you can't really see from you can't really see too well from okay. over there. I'm assuming, but there you go. You're gonna keep painting this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh -huh. all kinds of different colors. So I'm gonna use blue, green. I can. But again, I'm being nice Ooh. to my brush. I'm being gentle. Ooh, that's fun. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting. Oh. My fish. Yeah. Nice to the brush. Mm. All right, here I'm going fast again. I gotta get this painting done so the first graders could start. Mm hmm. That's looking good, Miss Crane. Thanks, Eddie. I think it looks pretty good too. So you like yellow ocean? Yep. It's really cool when it's yellow. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's see what happens. Well, that was so much fun. I'm all done. I painted well, and I filled in all of my white areas with color. What do you think, Eddie? It's pretty. Thanks. I think they're going to love doing this project, too. Me, too. All right. Let's get started. Bye-bye.